in this video we will be discussing about system of linear equations and to make you understand this whole concept I have taken one sample problem which is over here these are the linear equation because the power of all the variables is 1 and these three equations put together form a system of equation anyways the question is asking you to solve the, these equations but solving these equations is really not the purpose of this video because solving is quite easy you can simultaneously solve these equations or you can use calculator to solve these equations okay but with the help of this example i want you to understand one very important concept okay and the concept is written over here now uh, system of linear equations are written as ax is equal to b i have expressed those equations in the form of matrix you can see a is the coefficient matrix x is this variable matrix and B is the matrix of this constraints on the right hand side. Anyways, once I write this as AX is equal to B, okay, now there are two cases possible. If you see the first one, uh, row of A, you read this as rank of A. If rank of A and rank of A colon B, if these two are equal, A colon B is like just A and B clubbed together, like matrix A and matrix B is clubbed together, that's A colon B, it's called an augmented matrix. Now if the rank is equal, then we say the equations are consistent and when I say equations are consistent simply means the solution exists. So now in this case the solution exists so you will get some answer if this happens and by the way this value we call it as R okay and obviously when it is not consistent there is absolutely no solution in that case. Well and when there is no solution that is pretty much the end of the story and you cannot solve further you don't have any answer. To this one but one in case of solution when you have solution when rank of a and rank of a colon b is equal now there are two different possibilities in this case also that you say n is equal to number of variables number of variables basically means now here you have three variables x y and z well either you will have r is equal to n if r is equal to n you will have one solution and we call this unique solution when this happens and the other case here is r can be less than n if r is less than n you find out a number of parameters and that is just a difference of n and r once you find number of parameters uh, you can find out the solution as well we will see that when we solve the problem and you basically have many solutions so now depending on the rank of matrix A and B, okay, you can have three distinct cases. The first case is when rank of A and rank of A colon B is not equal. You get no solution. There is no answer to that problem. If you have R and N are equal, then you get unique solution. There is only one, there's going to be only one solution. And if you have R is less than N, then you will have multiple solutions. Okay. So now we will solve... Uh, few questions just to say how these things play out in the real problem. 